first time I did it the other day, it come out and landed perfect. And nobody was watching. Then I did it 30 <laughs> more times. And never <laughs> that was incredible. Sign, watch this. Nope, he ain't did it yet. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> first, first time he did it, it landed and stood up. Ain't no good. Trevor, no. I'm from Minnesota. No. One out of a thousand. <laughs> One out of a thousand. <laughs> On about a hundred. Uh, there he goes. Nope. Mm. Well, it looks like we're on, boys. Looks like the clock's running. <laughs> Happy. So, no, did you have a great home. birthday? Oh, we're, we're, we're recording. Podcast. Lead it. So, I take oh. this thing away. This is your podcast hey, anyway. What's been going on? Your name's in the title of all of them. Oh! You wouldn't believe what Uncle Si did last weekend. <laughs> what's that? I had a birthday Friday. That was your birthday, and then you had a party on I Saturday. Had a party on the 30th. Okay. But I, I was real nice to myself on Friday. Let's hear all about it. I went to a dealership oh, and bought me a brand new Ford F-150. Was that your truck back yep. there? Yep. And wrote a check for the full amount. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Baller status. <laughs> all right, buddy. You can't hide that cash. <laughs> you got any ink left in that pen? <laughs> no, it ain't. It's slow. Oh, yeah. It's slow, but hey, I got me a good truck anyway. I saw that. I was waiting on you to show up, yeah. and I said, well, maybe you got a new truck. Yep, I do. That's an incognito truck. Right. It's not, doesn't yeah. have all the uh, oh, I camouflage. Gonna, I ain't going to have all that junk on it. Trying to blend in more. Pickup. You ain't going to drive it anyway. Uh, he most, drives yeah, a lot. That's, that's true, because hey, Philip be driving or... I mean, it's only a matter of time before they revoke his license. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, hey. That ain't they'll, be, they'll be looking for him, but in the wrong trip. Hey, man, hey. Si. Me and Stone had a good trip over to Texas for a little event with the uh, Evil Eye. Evil Eye and his gun store. For, Did you, well, oh. it wasn't really for the gun store. It was this time it was for Ducks Unlimited. Unlimited saw, amount of We did uh, that, and then we went bass. We went that's what I saw fishing. some. Fish Coffee picture. fishing in the morning, that wasn't too that wasn't too good. We caught five and there was a thousand down there, but they wouldn't bite. And then we went to a private pond and I caught two eight pounders and one seven pounder. And then about twenty five more. Little bitty dinks. But that was fun. I we was in a little old boat. It was more might near just a little bit bigger than this table. <laughs> On a wacky worm. On a wacky worm. I, what is it about that? I thought that would never work. Oh. <laughs> but they, hey, pond bass cannot leave that sucker alone. They I don't it. care if they in a pond, lake, river, it don't matter. They all lead him. Hey, they love him. I'm telling it's you. it's just so dumb, I guess. Well, hey, they just don't know. I'm telling <laughs> you, they love it. They're taking advantage of it. Yeah, they're sitting there doing that. You know? and they just... <laughs> it's I, caught two, I caught three good ones two eight pounders, one seven pounder. Bass? Yeah. Yeah, he's good. Don't knew every time I set the hook on one because. <laughs> when I did, he was trying to stay on the boat, so I was going around the circle. Don was like, oh, he's got another big one. Then we'd come over and take a picture of him. <laughs> <laughs> Just, but that was fun. That does sound like fun. Oh, it was fun. Yeah, look at these two over here, by the way. Yeah, they Googling something. Yeah, I wish y'all got something more important no, got, going on. I got pictures of his fish. I got, well, a, I fix I got, got a pregnant wife pictures. at home. Yeah, I'm answering that. So <laughs> y'all just he's deal with it. it. He's checking up on home, call on it, mom and call the kids. It, call it rude. Call it what you will. Right. But, That's right. called checking wisdom. Checking up on mom and the kids. I don't blame yeah, you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sending you this picture of this bass yeah. the size yeah. got. Okay. It, it's a nice one. No, no. I don't want that crap. I'm sorry, Justin. I got too many pictures of Sal on my phone. You haven't said it, but the TV's off. Man, we came in unprepared today. That's right. It, That's right. But me and Sal look at it. That's right. Oh, all this a bull. I'm telling you, a bull. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Oh, big ass, big old bug eyed bass. I'm talking about <laughs> big old bug eyed dodo. Oh, that's right, bug eyed dodo boys. Oh, bass God. master. No, hey, si I Robert. made. Hey, to catch them, I made some casts to catch them because they was. It was some bushes hanging over the water. Oh, here we go. And, hey, spot about that big, and he was all the way in the back. I had, <laughs> as soon as he did it, just, boom. Oh, here he is. He sounds like Expert. Jace. There's only know. one way to get the bass. <laughs> right. Yeah. Had, hey, now. you got to hit the spot, boy, I'm telling you. Now. So, Si, what was, I know you bought yourself a nice truck, but what was what was the best gift that you got? You got, best you gift got some Willie, gifts. Willie come in there and said, hey, here's your gift, old man. It's in a bag. Uh -oh. you know? 
had a bunch of junk on top of it, and it was, the bag's heavy. Okay, and I'm thinking to myself, what you know, what did he buy me? Uh, one of these stupid uh, computer tablets? You know, because that's how heavy it was. It felt like you know. You thought he got you an iPad? No, no. Well, I just, I just, you know. <laughs> Because that, I, would you I, use it, an iPad? No. If you, no were you excited wife, about and, an iPad? And obvi- no, no, obviously, no. So I ain't picked up an iPad in a well, while. No, no, that thing anyway, ain't heavy. But anyway, <laughs> you know, I thought it wasn't all. My wife would have used it, okay? But anyway, okay. this thing was heavy, and it was, you know, he had a bunch of junk stuff in there. So I get all the junk out of the way, and I look in there, and, and there's a bunch of $1 bills, and then just a, just the whole bottom of the bag is full of change. Quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. Loose and change, got, or yeah, loose change. Oh. Okay, not even rolled. No, no, yeah, and, oh, he wouldn't give it to a rolled idiot. <laughs> but anyway, he had a little card that he wrote himself on just blank paper. He said, "The only way I can keep you from going all in is just you got to bet with this, you know, with nickels, dimes, and pennies." How much did he give you? Quarters. Forty-two dollars and what sixty-five cents? I think he, he counted. Count. He counted. <laughs> well, no, no. I, so I said, "Hey, always do your own counts." Hey, right, look, I wanted to see what was in there. You know? oh. so it was he didn't even give you seventy-four dollars. Well, hey, look, it was a pretty good gift. Forty-two dollars. Forty-two sixty-five. Forty-two sixty-five. Uh, <laughs> so this party was a good time. Oh no! Was, oh yeah! Yeah, the I band. saw it was a blast from the past. Oh, no. the people that were there, I was like, yeah. oh. Man, I ain't seen you in a minute. Like, All of them were there. The whole anybody that's ever been associated with. Oh no, no, no! Because I, like, we I have, didn't even recognize half of them. Married. My wife said, "Do you know all these people?" And I said, "I probably do." But no, here's I don't recognize. Let me tell them. you what happened when I first uh, got there. So me and Brittany get there. First off, the thirtieth is her birthday. That's weird. When it's your wife's birthday and you're going to somebody else's yeah, party. Yeah, somebody's party. That's cool. That's weird. That's but cool. me and Gamber rallied. We got her a birthday cake. Which good thing is Phil didn't even bring no sweets. So no. Well, her birthday, her cake. birthday cake got destroyed. Hold on, because <laughs> the night before we had a pre-party at Stones, and we had three cakes as big as this table. They were huge. Uh, but anyway, y'all ate them all before the party. Yes, gone. But look, it was good. Wasn't saved it? Saved the day with cakes at Happy Birthday, Brittany. Mind you, though. So we get there, and Bella comes up to us, and she says, have you talked to Cy yet? And I said, no. Cy, have you heard this story? (laughs) And she said, well, I went and told him happy birthday, and he just looked at me and went, yeah. He said, she said, yeah, I don't even think he knows who I am. Yeah, I did. Your niece. I knew who she was. Her butt cut walked up there. (laughs) (laughs) I, I knew who she was. Proof. (laughs) <laughs> she was with butt cut. Hey, look, uh, that's his name. Willie's the one that gave it to him. Oh, I'm aware, but it was just well, so funny. She said, yeah. I don't even think he I knows knew who I am. Was. It was just, but butt it was funny cut. to hear your niece say that. Well, was, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, she told me the same thing, and I said, you got to understand, Cy had a pre-party. Last night we had a party. He went fishing <laughs> earlier in the morning. And I don't even know if he's had a nap yet. Oh, yeah. he hey, know- we've, had, we've been going all so I was on the porch the whole time, and I'm sitting on the inside in air conditioning because I got a pregnant wife. She get hot. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we sitting in the AC, and I'm just watching Cy. When I first got there, he wouldn't move. Mm-hmm. He just sitting there like this. And then about an hour into it, that old head got to bobbing. Oh, no, so when me. that old head got to bobbing, I told Brittany, I said, come on, we can go say hey to him now. I was watching his mood change <laughs> as, the band, as the band got into them hits, and then I heard him singing one. I said, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, he ready now. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 now, boy, right? he big ready now. Yeah. So. That's the best reaction to happy. Oh birthday no, no, ever ever ever. Ever. Yeah. it yeah. was a, it was a big time. Everybody yeah. had a good time. I hate I missed it. It was good. Yeah, you should have been there, Gimber. Well, I was at another birthday party for six year olds, so I didn't have near as much fun. Hey, I won't hear nothing. You could have brought the cake, done what we did. So. That's right. They, that's what they did. <laughs> you could have. We, we had a cake. I had a big old cookie cake. You could have adapted and overcame just like <laughs> I did. No, it so, was. But Gimber, man, he's. Man, he got them duck wraps down. Yeah, the boy, the yeah. boys got yeah, them he does. down. He yeah. he got the them duck down. wraps were good. Well, how about uh, other food? I <laughs> didn't eat the I didn't eat the crawfish. <laughs> Brittany I thought, did. I thought the crawfish. Well, were you can't excellent. mess crawfish yeah. up. Yeah. You can't mess that up. They were so. easy to peel because I peeled yeah. crawfish yeah. before, but yeah. to okay. help speed her up. Yeah. Because she ain't as fast as I am, and I got tired of looking at them. So I was like, well, look. So I'm sitting there peeling her crawfish, but the boudin things were good. 
uh what uh, the little meat pies were good yeah. yeah i mean it was i didn't eat any of the pulled pork but as much of it as i saw people eating it had to have been good so i thought it was good uh, now you can't you're not gonna please every robertson in the room oh god no well, that's, that's that, not even don't even something you should don't even yeah don't even well, don't, don't even try, strive bro. for that well, you're right the duck wrap was excellent oh the duck wrap he's got that down they were fantastic yeah deep he's fried them, mm-hmm. bacon yep. cream, cream cheese finished with steamed syrup yeah oh they were good they were. I'm into those things. He's he's got them perfected. I we had 15 pizzas for uh, my kid's birthday party, and uh, so if y'all still need, the, apparently people don't eat as much pizza as I thought. Oh, uh, bring it uh, on! I had eight pizzas left over. Lily would have. Lily would have. They, don't. they don't. Every one of them. Oh yeah. Just went and pulled cheese and meat off of it and left the bread. That's what he was famous for at a pizza party. Mm-hmm. That's what he's famous for at a pizza buffet. Your nephew. Hey, yeah. Willie. Yeah. Yeah. Willie will just scrape all the toppings and cheese off a piece of <laughs> yeah. pizza Skin and eat it. that and then throw the – like it. you know how some children leave the crust and don't eat yeah. it? Yeah. He leaves the entire bread. Yeah, uh, all the bread. Uh, all the goodies. He eats the good stuff. Yeah. And hide money. Yeah. He eats yeah. the pure fat and leaves the carbs. That's what he's after. Hey, well, hey, it's clearly good, working man. for him. <laughs> Oh, he Still did. ain't going he to his legs. Yeah, <laughs> them legs gonna stay skinny forever. Oh, I will tell you, Willie. Willie looks like he's losing weight and staying in shape. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, well he's for a fifty-year-old, he ain't yeah. bad. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't no young. <laughs> Coming from a seventy-four-year-old, for a fifty-year-old, he ain't bad. <laughs> he ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding up. Oh, well, let's take our first break. Before we do, though, I want to send a special thank you to the Baxters. I got some onesies in my office for the for the kids that say dreaming about duck hunting. Ooh, so, I, like I just that, hope yeah. they sleep. So mm-hmm. that's <laughs> as long as they're <laughs> dreaming, you're cool. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, eventually hey, they will. I got an email too from the guy that sent all the lemons. His name's uh, Cole from Le Jean Yar. Indiana. Okay. So thanks, Cole. Right. Thank we didn't know your Thank name you when we opened it. Yeah. We still got Lemon some juice. of it. He hadn't eaten it all yet. All right. We'll oh, be no. back right after this. All right. Guess where we're going next, boys? Where are we going, Sid? Si? Tell we're us. We're going to the one place that you can find this. Where? Pristine waters of New Zealand. What do we find? What are we talking about? We're talking about a Mega XL, baby. Oh. All right. Look, I bought everything there is over the counter. Mm-hmm. All, all of it. Had a little joint here, a little pain in it. Yep. It's the one thing that fixed it. Wouldn't work, boys. Wouldn't work. Okay. But, hey, ever since I got in on this Omega XL, Mm -hmm. I actually call them my first responders. First responders. You take a couple of pills, drink a little tea, swallow it, okay? Then the first responder turns on the siren. To the place that is in flame, because that's what it is, inflammation. Okay? The joint. They go there, bam, the pain is gone. Thank they take you. care of business, boys, and then they go back. And, hey, look, you ordered the first bottle. What happens okay. with the second? Mm-hmm. Hey, the second one is free. What? Mark, and you can tell them how they do this. As we age, our body does not produce enough SPMs like it did when we were young. And Omega XL can help restore those SPMs and help rejuvenate your joints, get rid of inflammation, get rid of the pain. So you can move like you were when you were young. Order Omega XL and get a second bottle for free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck, boys. Or you can call 1-800-844-4888. 1-800-844-48. Put two 88s behind that. And for not one, but hey, look, for two. two bottles. And the last one is free. Holy and cow, baby. Al doesn't have a vest on. And, hey, it works. Super Sam time. Al. Look, that thing that thing got rid of so much inflammation, it took Al's vest away. Back on, So boy. I decided to take my wife fishing on Friday. Okay. It's a good thing to do. And while we were out there, I noticed something. We got in this little spot, and there was these few little bugs flying around, you know. Well, all of a sudden, a few little bugs turned into a swarm. And when I say swarm, I'm talking about 10,000. Okay. Like, Ooh. But yeah. they, they look like a mayfly, but they ain't a mayfly. I don't know what they are. I ain't ever seen them. But here's the kicker. One of them rascals got in my ear. Ooh. Uh-oh. Did you jump in the water? What am I going to do? He's in my ear beating up against my eardrum. <laughs> yeah. He didn't, like, go Which on, on no my fun. ear. Oh, he went oh, in your ear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ooh. and was trying to leave the other side. <laughs> yeah. I guess. He's against the drum. And just beating. <laughs> just <laughs> the yeah. whole, and when I tell you, 
if you ever that's painful it's painful Mm -hmm. it's also intoxicating like legitimately like oh it'll get to like drunk yeah it'll get to you and i don't ask me how i know hey yeah i've been drunk before it happens like we were bc before christ it happens (laughs) yeah and i'm standing there on the front of my boat trying to get away from these things because i got a I got a pregnant woman in the back that's getting swarmed by bugs. You can only imagine how thrilled she was. Yeah. Mm. Are these just black, little black ones? They about that big. Okay. They look like a mayfly, but he ain't a mayfly. I don't know what he is. But they weren't stinging. It must have been an April fly. I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, if you went when? When did you go? Friday. Friday was what date? April the 29th. Okay. Uh, wasn't quite May yet. Yeah, wasn't. But I know what a mayfly looks like. I've been around them my whole life. Like, well, I've, they, I've ain't been, no thing. I've been on, on, on a waterway when they. But it yeah. was like a mayfly yeah. hatch in the fact that that swarm yeah. was just like you see mayflies yeah. do. But that rascal ended up yeah. inside my ear, beating on my eardrum. I got the trolling motor on high because I can't, I can't crank my big motor. I'm in too shallow water. Like, I can't do nothing. Yeah. And, and I'm up there just <sighs> staggering. Cause it done got on that inner ear, so oh, yeah. I done, I done got the, I done Balance got woozy, got like dizzy. Of course, I'm still casting. <laughs> <laughs> and Brittany's like, "Would you hurry up and get out of here?" I said, "Hey, I can fish on ten. Ain't no big deal. I'm just steady, just casting." I caught like three, but it's fine. While I was doing that, <laughs> it wasn't no. But I was, I didn't know. I ain't ever seen nothing like that. Did it? Did you get it out? I did get it out. That was as painful as what he was doing in there, too. Now, how did you get it out? Well, it started off with a pair of pliers. No. So I had my pliers. Once we got out there in the middle and got in the wind where them bugs wasn't swarming us no more, I told Brittany, I handed him needle on those pliers. I said, I need you to reach in there as far as you can get. Right. Try to get something. That, just get a leg, get something. Like, stop him from doing whatever yeah. he's doing right now. Yeah. Well, that didn't Oof. work. And needle on those pliers don't go in the year very far. No. And Oof. so... So I, then I'm out there where I can crank the big motor. So I cranked the big motor, called my buddy. I said, look, I need you to meet me at the camp. We, we got a prop. So then he comes up with this brilliant solution. He took contact solution, you know, because it's a squeeze bottle. Mm-hmm. And so he filled it up. It's half contact solution, half water. Filled it all the way to the top, and I held my ear over, and he squirted that stuff at what I can only imagine had to be about three or 400 miles an hour from the way it felt when it hit my inner ear. Well, that got me even drunker. <laughs> and the first round didn't take. He's still in there. He was just in a swimming pool in. Yeah, because. Eating water around. Yeah. Had and a little splash going on to it now. Next time I said, hey, son, refill it. Let's roll again. I wouldn't go in emergency. Not with a bug in my ear. So then he did it. Did it again. Then all of a sudden, just the biggest water pressure you ever felt just left. And I looked down there on the table, and there was that bug. How big was the bug? He's about that long. Like oh, a, no, 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 no. Like you a quarter? Seen? But he's about that long. He's skinny. Yeah. I mean, he got a fit in the ear canal. So uh, you can imagine he's about that uh, long, about an inch, inch and a half You long. ever see that thing, the what, earwig? Yeah, but that, yeah. yeah. With the little pincher. Oh, That's yeah. the thing that ended that up in Jason's. That looked like a priest, uh, pre- pre- <laughs> historic. Yeah, prehistoric. Yeah. Like a priest? Like a priest <laughs> oh, no, historic. no, no. It looked like a, what, Godzilla. I thought I'm something. It, it's it's bad, yeah. and, they, and they pulled that out of Jason's ear. Looked like one of them things we used to call a doodle bug. Oh no, yeah, yeah. that got was some the, kind of it larvae. Got, got the big pinchers, mm-hmm. you know. But no, this was just a fly. Then then got up in there, and I have never felt more satisfaction oh, no, than no. taking my finger and smashing a bug in my life. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> like murder that. I had a oh. moth. I had a moth get in my ear. This would have been similar to a moth. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was in there just, <laughs> and you know, it sounded like thunder. Mm-hmm. Just, wah, just, heard every, yeah. heard every time he did oh, it. Yeah. Too, didn't he? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, I was uh, there. I, I, I had uh, my GoPros with me. I don't know why I didn't uh, film the whole. And time, look, that's somebody. You know, it was like that to me, and I'm hard of hearing. What would you say, sir? You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, and then take somebody that's got like my wife that can hear. You know, yeah. a mouse walking across carpet. Yo, I'm telling you now. Yes, no. That's when you keep. Yeah, hey, it'll drive you nuts. That's when you keep the old dust buster oh, in no, your no, truck. No, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if I held my head like this, he wouldn't flap. But if I got upright in that wind, because wind was blowing good so, uh, Friday, and that wind could get to my ear as soon as that wind got up there, he get he get cranked off again. Yeah, he's trying to fly. Yeah, problem was he trying to go this way. 
<laughs> if he'd have just put it in reverse, yeah. we'd have been all right. Mm. If he'd have just went out the way he come in, oh, no. we'd have been fine. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had anything in my ear. You d- you haven't? No, you would know. Trust me, you, you would know. know. This hey. is one of the things that, oh, I think. No, ain't no think to it. Did, uh, yeah. Look, buddy. He no, come, I keep my ears closed. I don't he, want he, stuff in them. He and come in mind. on the fly. Like, it wasn't no get on my ear and crawl yeah. and end up oh. there. No, it just, I, I was standing there, and I was like, man, these bugs are yeah. bad. And then, phew, I said, so, uh-oh. I told Brittany, I said, cover your ears. She said, why? I said, there's one in mine. And so, Lord yeah. have mercy, yeah. then it just... So did Willie have to go to the hospital because something got in his ear one time? Yeah. It's, yeah. I like, a like, 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 like a roach. Yeah, his was a cockroach. cockroach. Yeah. Because yeah. he used to sleep in the laundry room, and then Phil put a bunch of, like, jelly down in his ear. Yeah, to try to choke it out. To ch- chum it out? <laughs> yeah. yeah it, was a, a... it was a weird ordeal. Yeah. Every time I hear somebody getting something in their ear, though, it's never ended, like, that everybody was better for the experience. Oh, no, yeah, no, You no, actually no. came yeah. out okay. I came out all right. I, I take it's it as a happy good. happy that it happened. No, but it is a good learning experience. If that ever happens again, one, once you see the first sign of potential swarm, go the other way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't keep fishing. Don't keep going that way. Turn around and say, retreat. Get back out there but in the wind. But you caught three fish with that thing in your ear? Uh-huh. Show oh, did. Good record. One good one. <laughs> no, no. What, what's amazing one by, one four about this? I've seen the mayflies come out, and I've also seen seen the katydids. The mayflies was in Massachusetts on waterway. The katydid was Alabama. Okay, and you've seen these uh, Locust. golf course use these things that aerate the uh, fairways and mm-hmm. stuff with. All it is is just a drill. Just yeah, it digs holes, and it does it. You know, like they got a big machine with a bunch of them on. <clears throat> yeah. Well, that's just the way it was when the Katie did come out. And that's the locust? Yeah. Sound right, it's the locust type. Right. Yeah. Like a big crowded. Uh, uh, I thought that was a cicada. Hey, of, what is it? Uh, the cicadas? Well, Katie did is some kind of old grasshopper. That's what I'm getting looking for. Oh. It's a big grasshopper. I got you. Okay. But they live in the ground, okay, and then when they come out, it's just like a, look like aerated. <laughs> and hey, there was so many. Okay, they're making a noise. It will hurt your ears. And then there were so many of them on the highways, they was causing accidents because people were running over them, and then it ain't nothing but just an oil slick on the road. What? Oh, oh yeah. There I'm were coming. so many bugs no, no, on the I'm road. You, it's Grass literally hoppers. millions because mayflies, they lay their eggs in the water. Oh, I felt like them boys talking about like in Exodus and all. Oh that. no, no, no! This is plague. When, when type that deal, when them ten thousand or however many of them there was to sit yeah. on that boat, oh, there yeah. was seventeen yeah. foot six inches of flies. Yeah, I'm talking about whatever. And I call them a fly just because that's the generic term, but they're like a moth or whatever. Yeah, may fly, but I'm talking every square inch of everything on that boat was just a solid sheet of it. Long story short, <laughs> nature's really cool till it ends up in your ear. Oh, no, 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 mm. yeah. You just ready yeah. to let them people it's go. It's fun to watch until, oh, like Martin said, it happens that one of them gets in your ear. Buddy, one of them gets in your ear, you're uh. looking for an exit. Mm. Yeah. Well, hey, there's fun nature facts with us. We'll be back right after this. Everybody here by now has heard us talk about how much we love our soft hole gun magnets. Check this out. One of their customers had a soft hole gun magnet in his Jeep. He went out riding with his buddies, ended up rolling the Jeep hard enough to bend the frame. Everything that was screwed down in that vehicle went flying. Except his gun. <laughs> because you know Magnets. Because right. he had that neodymium magnet in there. So. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was still on the magnet. That's how secure soft hole gum magnets are. You can mount one in your truck, under your Jeep, under your desk. It don't matter where. you Anywhere you want to get to your gun, you can mount it there. Our Duck Call Room listeners, John and Lori, set out to make the best gum magnets money can buy, and they did. That just there's, I mean, the story about the Jeep is the perfect example of that. That's incredible. American Dream started because he had to be going pretty fast. Oh yeah. Oh, and you know he wrote. You don't just roll once. Yeah. Like, and that gun stayed on that magnet. Hey, I report. You decide. Look, boys. They wrapped the magnet in top grain. Still on that Panther. Now we're bowling. We're bowling with a metal (laughs) Panther and a magnet. Boys with a magnet. (laughs) Oh, but they, you, Martin. I'm trying. They wrapped it in top grain leather to keep it from scratching your gun. Boom, soft hold magnets were born with the perfect holding power and perfect good looks. 
You can mount them anywhere. Every soft hold magnet is handcrafted in America with this verse from 1 Thessalonians. On the back test, all things hold fast to what is good. These magnets are for sure going to hold fast to everything that you got. It's a 50-pound pull magnet. Keep your fully loaded gun secure, even on the roughest roads in America. They look great and come in a bunch of cool designs. They can even help you with custom logos. You spend $500 to $1,000 on the perfect gun, so why would you put a cheap magnet on it that'll scratch it up? Or worse, what if it's not there when you need it? When somebody breaks into your house at night, wakes you from a dead sleep, you want to know your gun is right where you left it. So you can't always carry your gun on your hip, but when you need it close, soft hold is the choice for American gun owners like you. Give yourself or someone you love the one gun accessory you'll use forever, a soft hold gun magnet. And right now, get free priority shipping on every order over $99. Use the promo code DUCK at checkout to get 10% off your entire order at softhold.com slash duck. That's S-O-F-H-O-L-D dot com slash duck. There's no T in there. S-O-F hold dot com slash duck. And use promo code <laughs> duck. <laughs> it's perfect, boy. For 10%. Time. Yeah. Now that's a magnet. Uh, that's a magnet. You boy. see, it stuck so I couldn't it, ring the bell. He is happy. Look at him. That's a good one. That's a five pounder. Oh yeah, yeah. He was five. <laughs> at least five, sir. Yeah, I, that was eight pounder. Now look, I oh. I don't always believe everything Cy tells me. Don't believe that's an eight pound fish. Believe. But look, a lot of what he says and tells me is true, even if I can't believe it. We were. I don't know if Martin was with us, but we were fishing somewhere. I think it was Key West, and Sai said, come look at these flying fish. Well, flying fish? Yeah. I was like, mm, okay, yeah. I got a T-shirt from flying fish. But let me hey, tell you something. That. These things, these fish had wings, and every time a wave would hit, they'd fly for like 500 yards. Unbelievable. Oh, that's yeah. Little, that's, that's a little fun. No, 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 no. Tell him. Tell him. No, no. 500? No, no. Look, that's the thing. <laughs> they okay? got high. There I wasn't no a... bad weather that, that time we were fishing, okay? The waves were about, oh, probably two foot high. Yeah, two, just rollers. Just, it was, you know, wasn't yeah. no big stuff, okay? And they would come out right when the waves, the top. They'd come out, and you'd look, and... <clears throat> I just kept watching. And I said, "How did they get that kind of distance mm -mm. out of that little wave?" I could see if it was a big giant wave. These things are flying like I couldn't believe it. Four hundred and fifty, five hundred feet. Oh yeah, they're marlin candy, marlin selfish, you know, just, dolphin, yeah. all that stuff. Love them. That's yeah. that's how you know you're around them. Well, no, no, because hey, they was fishing at night. One of them finally hit the boat and mm -hmm. fell in inside the boat. Well, they just took it and put it on a hook. I want a T-shirt in Key West for flying. <laughs> no, no, because that's what Philip said. I said, hey, some of them could come. Hey, some of them is just eight or ten come out one time. Yeah. And he said, you're out, right, you're mine. No, they're yeah. cool. So he finally come up there and told me, I said, well, just keep watching out there. <laughs> but I tell you I what said, you do. Good grief, how they go right there? What we yeah. did, though, was we scooped them up as we went by, one, to measure, and two, then once you found some fish, you just you kept him in the live well, and yeah. you put him on a hook, and you sent him back out there. Yeah, so he wasn't no wasted. Yeah, ain't no telling him and what then, you, you got either. Oh, we caught a bunch of dolphin, a bunch of mahi, whatever yeah. you want to call yeah. them. But, yeah, we caught snot out of them off dead flying fish that had been shot with a 410. <laughs> it was fun. They're just rednecks oh, no. in Key West. Oh, no. I speaking, mean, that's all it was. Speaking of rednecks. They didn't go to waste. That's the cool thing. Speaking of rednecks, we were on Max's boat. Uh, you, oh, yeah, you Big Max. Godwin and yeah, the big uh, cruiser. Stone, Cy. And they said we're gonna, you know, we're gonna shoot skeet off the back of the boat. So you had to sit there and yeah. do like this until the skeet came yeah. out. And then you shoot them. Yeah. Whoever hit the least amount had to pick up every shell. Uh huh. And I, I picked up shells for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> they all lost that battle. Yeah, that wasn't a good thing for you to. You should have bowed out of that contest. Well, well, I, that. I, I wasn't oh, he, about it. He was with the wrong crew. Oh, yeah, like, that's oh, yeah. not a. That was also listen, the first and last so, drone duck commander ever owned. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> no, no. yeah. So I told him, son, oh, that told you'll him, never I, make it back with that I drone. Said, you never. He, hey, and he, you know, no, he didn't make. No. Well, what got me? We're out there and like, you know, we stayed on a boat out there for like four days. <laughs> oh, it was okay, a while. So, so we're out there in the ocean, pretty good way. So, you know, we're, we're underway, you know, I'm talking about going to another spot. And, and the skipper says, uh, all right, y'all get ready to be looking for bodies. <laughs> you know, you know, I said, do what? He said, yeah, there's a, one of them little old rubber raft wheels up there. All you could see was the nose of it, you know. They got a little boat on the back of it, you know. So all you could see was the nose of it. So we come by, and he said, I'm going to swing by it. Y'all look for bodies. Look for bodies. 
Yeah, you know, and I come look at him and I said, Are you, you serious? And he said, Yeah. He said, I'm serious. Look, look for a body. So we go by it and tell me, I said, Nope, I don't see any bodies. I said, But I do see three big fish under it. <laughs> you know, and he said, Well, I'm gonna make a circle and we'll come back and y'all fish for them. <laughs> Wait, so there was a there was just a raft out in the middle of the oh, ocean. Yeah, no, no. Empty raft. They do it all they see it all the time. Rouse, boats. Yeah. These are the people that's leaving wherever, Cuba. you know, Cuba or whatever, you know, yeah. trying to get to the United States. Yeah, trying to get a part of wet foot, dry foot. Yeah. Just trying yeah. to get on land. Yeah, so. just yeah. trying to get on something, some different point of yeah. land. Yeah. They, you know. land. <laughs> but you got to think about that. But there was two big old triple tails laid up under that raft. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. We come by and look. Oh, I think it was Maui Maui. He made Maui. that perfect cast. Yeah, right? I think it was Maui Maui. We come by. Maui Maui. Yeah. Maui Waui. <laughs> That's a delicious fish. It was Close the big enough. green, the green dolphins, I yeah. think yeah. they yeah. call them. Mahis. Yeah. Mahi. Okay. Dorado. Mahi. They got a bunch. Right. They got too many different names. They just need to yeah. pick one. All Mahi. them Mahi. fish got different names these days. I caught, one in, I caught one in what, barracudas? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did. You won a trophy yeah, for it. Twenty-seven pound barracuda. You well, I noticed one you thing. You a lot about of trophies. Everything in the ocean got teeth. Hey, yeah, and not Something only always bigger. Not only teeth, <laughs> big, big teeth, big. Okay. So, so if you're listening, Sai, we would all be out fishing, and Sai said, "Boys, wake me up when we get on them." He went down. He was sleeping in a water bed. Mm-hmm. We'd ring a bell, ding, ding, ding. Time to come outside. The fish are biting. They, okay, they, they, boy. They, no, they had to come down there and tell me, hey, wake up. I, old think man. I, I think I slept about <laughs> two hours and three days on that rig. I wouldn't. I sleep oh, on I boats, was, not for me. I was surprised I didn't yeah, it's get It's too hot to sleep outside. I'm surprised you didn't get no, seasick. No, I'm sick. But it I'm was sick. a big boat. Yeah. But because I felt sorry for the pilot Ooh, that yeah. flew us down. Yeah, he's going to have to fly us back and he's oh, no, sick no, no, no. as hey. a dog. He was sick from the time we got on the boat to the time we left. Praise Three, the Lord, four, I ain't never been sick. Four days I later. I never have been. I, and I, just, I felt sorry for him because he was always just. The only motion stuff ever got me is when we did them couple of cruises. I come back and it took me about four days to get leveled back out. I just didn't realize it when I was on the boat. So here's what I did. Like know. I went to wash my hair oh, no. in my shower, not moving no and more. Like fell? And about fell out. I ducked my head <laughs> no, and I had no, to catch no. myself no. like this. I thought I was gone. I mean, I thought I said, no. I'm dead right here. I no, my head down they, what was out. the thing they the thing about you got your you got your legs back? Yeah. Yeah, sea legs. Sea legs. You got your sea legs back because hey. I'm, I'm telling you, after I come back in cruise, yeah, it took me a week to get where I could walk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you don't realize. I'm bumping into the stuff, and I'm so what is wrong with you? Yeah, you don't realize how much that mess screws with you. <laughs> but let me tell you, our cameraman, he, I didn't know you could do this, but he overdosed on Dramamine. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, he quit on us. He laid down. Yeah. And quit. He was. I mean, he was like, oh, guys. So we said, put another patch on. You'll be all right. <laughs> Yeah. And he was out for two days. Yeah, leave it to Sinky to overconsume something, right? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> but, so he uh so he just slept for two days? He slept for Yeah, two he days. never come out of there. And that may be why he the wrecked only, why he wrecked that drone. The only footage we got was me filming. <laughs> I was like, Yeah, give me that thing. I don't care. Whatever. What a trip. That's a good time, man. But yeah. the 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 meanest mean mug look I got from all of them is after about three days in. There wasn't no more snacks left except what I hid on top of the refrigerator. He did so they're all sitting in the living room, you know, God whatever. God hurt you. So I, God I go and, to see you. I go and, and I pull that last Twinkie down, and I sit down and ride amongst them to start opening it up. And yeah, here you, they come. Where do you get that? I ain't got no Twinkie. You can tell Phil. They was all after Phil me. Phil and Willie hung out together. They hiding food and hiding <laughs> yeah. everything. Hiding food. I don't know that I want to go on a trip where they run out of snacks. <laughs> And don't worry, Phil, <laughs> don't Phil go brought with them us. home back with us. <laughs> That's wrong. Just like chicken and dumplings <laughs> you and know, burger I did, steak. I did that one time. Whatever else you bring <laughs> To be by. fair, it was really weird that you did it one time. <laughs> Meatloaf, BLTs. <laughs> right. like. Is that your carry-on, sir? Yes, it's my hamburger from last oh, night. They don't oh, carry oh, these oh. in West Monroe. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Sorry, get them off of me. <laughs> All right, let's take another break. We'll be back. Hold on, let me spit my coffee out when you met when you do it. Oh, ah! yeah, it, it hit twice and failed. First time if it hit stayed, it'd been good. I hmm. thought that was it, Martin. Yep. Nope. We're they're back on the up. game. They're kicking up hard. Pure I'll silver. Right, we're back at uh, pure silver shotgun shell. Stand it on, stand it on. Up. He kicks yeah. it out of the desk. 
and it oh, sometimes oh, oh. acts like That's it's going to land. Nope. Not it was off balance. I wonder if nope. other people are at work right now listening to us. Nope. Too hard. Doing right, silly things. All right. All right. Last try. Last shot. Nope, Boo. He came wow. close. The first time he ever even did that, it landed perfectly. And, <laughs> and I ain't done it since. And put That's it off later. Solid silver. That's solid wow. silver. And now every time we take a break, Martin kicks silver <laughs> until we think he gets close, and he never does it. Yeah. What's been going on in the news? Oh, Lord. Mm. In the news? Yeah. Uh-huh. I, I don't like watching. The New play. Orleans Pelicans are back. Are they? Well, they're out of the playoffs, they're but they're good. They have a good team. Yeah. Honey good Badger's again. coming back. Tyran yeah. Matthew, New Orleans Saint. Honey Badger. Oh, I meant to ask y'all that. I was watching the, the TV. Here it is. Is, uh, mm-hmm. uh, is the Saints got a new head coach? Yes. Dennis Allen. Okay, so. Uh, Sean Payton. Payton hung Sean up Payton his, quit? He's retired. He retired? Until right. next year. Allegedly. You retired yeah. too? Because I seen him on television, and I said, wait a minute. And then they showed just somebody else with a football, you know, out there on practice. Payton. He's a defensive specialist. Peyton kind of like Urban Meyer. What? Mm-hmm. My horse is gone. <laughs> the horse is gone? Oh, he quit. Yeah. My horse is gone. Yeah. So yeah. Let me, so I, let me, I've retired. Let me sit back till I find another squad yeah. with horses, and I'm yeah. going to come back, and everything will be fine. Well, I understand yeah. that. I kind of feel oh, yeah. that way. Yeah, I understand yeah. that. Yeah. My so this helps gone. when you just got a whole bench full of horses. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, life's easy then. Yeah. He'll find it. Whatever. I miss Drew Brees. Yeah. Sir, if you're listening, and I know you're not. <laughs> but <laughs> if one of your 17 assistants. Yeah, if he there cares. Is or if, like, your 17 children. And if he cares, yeah. and which he don't. And also okay. he doesn't. We love you and miss you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what a great human being. Also, I helped your bottom line at walk-ons. So yeah, there, there you go. go. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, we all did that. I pretty much buy anything you put your name on. So. <laughs> I love you, Drew Brees. Uh, anyway, what do you want to talk about? Oh, I was, I was talking about the news. The only thing I saw was some weird thing in Alabama. What happened in Alabama? Alabama. Well, some, some guy that was on, like, death row or something, him and his jail person that he was in a relationship with or something escaped. I thought that's kind of weird. What? That's from the hometown of our Jennifer Allen, somewhere up around Florence, Alabama. Kind of. Hmm. Two. It, it was a Dateline episode to be written. I oh. mean, it, it, we'll see this on a Sunday night on NBC at some point. Huh. So they were, the, him and his jailmate broke uh, free? The jailer. She worked at the jail. Oh! oh. See, my mind was really jailhouse raised. Jailhouse. you never know. Uh, jailhouse things. romance. Jailhouse love triangle. <laughs> yeah. Bonnie okay. and Clyde okay. something. Yeah. You know, so she know. busted out. She's supposed to be watching this dude. She was going to take him for a psych evaluation or something at the courthouse, but there wasn't mm-hmm. ever no evaluation scheduled. Oh, there was she, went, she zigged when she should have zagged. And there said. was an evaluation. Yeah. And they found her car at the grocery store at the Piggly Wiggly or something. And, and uh <laughs> And they gone. I love it. <laughs> so so that, she just go. bust. That just struck me funny. I can't. Help. <laughs> the last oh, time, boy. the last time I went with side to the human race is funny, ain't it? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. We were looking. Great ring circus boys. We were looking for Mister and Mrs. T's. Oh, bloody Mary. <laughs> Blo- yeah, bloody Mary mix. He likes to drink it. We were at the Piggly Wiggly, and size jumping up on the on the uh, cart. And riding it through the parking lot past all these people, he just shoo. I said, Si, get down off that buggy. I can't. I got to ride it. Rode it all the way out to the truck. Uh, and how old are you, 74? 74 now. Oh, we got it. We got to cut that out. No. You reading they the story? Yeah, him. yeah, I'm learning more. Hey, they need to put a hemi on one of them things. That's yeah, a bizarre. They got a, They got him back. He was oh. serving a life sentence. Oh, yeah, oh they like caught him. Murder for hire or something? No, nah, he, he stole a car and was... Fleeing from police and killed somebody yeah. uh, while trying to run away from the police. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. yeah now, bad what, what, what about her? She's still gone? I don't know about that's, her. That's, she's that's, still at large, as they say. On the lamb. She's going to break him lamb. out again. That's it. I ain't no telling. It was just a bizarre. I read it quickly, <laughs> and I was like, only in Alabama. <laughs> I bet they said Roll Tide when they left Piggly Wiggly. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Roll Tide. You know they did, baby. You know they did. Roll Tide. No. That's terrible. Uh, I bet you cops do that all the time when they get to chase somebody. Roll Tide, baby. Roll Tide. Yeah, let them roll. Go. Let them run, boys. Here we go. We coming. That's it. Oh. It's a siren, boy. Roll Tide. Mm. 
That's mm-hmm. good stuff. Oh, wait. Did, no, apparently he did murder somebody. Yeah, it, was yeah, no it was a weird. Yeah. Did two different people break out of jail in Alabama this week? Oh, they may have. Could have. But I've heard. I mean, it is Alabama. If somebody got killed, I've heard enough of it. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, anyways. I don't, I don't know what all. It was just a bizarre story. I, when I read it, I was like, yep, it's Alabama. I don't do a lot of news reading. Sai, you watch anything interesting on PBS? <laughs> no, not here lately. Has there been any nature He's stuff? watching me TV. No, not lately. I did watch that drone footage that old boy got of the tornado up in Kansas. You seen that? That was incredible. What? Oh, that was one thing when we went to Texas. All, one of them went through there, or maybe three of them went through there. I think three of them went through there. And they destroyed a bunch of homes right there by Lester's house. Yeah. Really? I mean, I'm talking about level. Yeah, if you Google, like, drone footage of tornado or something. I have found it. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. First it's incredible to see how, like, how narrow but how big the damage is. Like, houses well, right there beside it ain't getting touched, nothing happening to them. But where that sucker is, just Well, no, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, no, 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 no. And not only that, we live in Cracker Jack Busters, boys. Mm-hmm. Okay, if a tornado or anything nature can throw at you, yeah, okay. yeah, you ain't, yeah. You, you don't stand much. But yeah, you ain't, you ain't, no, you ain't safe. Trust me, so Johnny D. <laughs> watching it right now. Oh no, no, it's no, incredible. I'm looking at it myself. Yeah, it's an incredible thing. It just picked up houses, bro. Anytime yeah. it can snap, like pine trees about that big around. Yeah, which a pine tree basically made of rubber. Yeah, yeah. When he's living, I mean, just I've come down the road and if we cross the road and just. You know, about all oh, about as wide this room, mm-hmm. <coughs> just snapping them off at about eight. Well, like foot a lawnmower high. went through. Yeah, it. yeah, mm. yeah. It's incredible. It, it's unreal. The power of nature is incredible. Kind of like that deal come through Saturday night after your party. Oh no, no, oh, no! Yeah. That, that was a, a rip one, snorter. Oh, no, you talking about wore out? Okay, because I had Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I knew he was okay? tired. You talking about out? Because last night I woke up this morning and went out on the porch. Christine's out there having her tea, morning tea. And she said, boy, it was a bad storm last night, wasn't it? And I said, what? <laughs> Say what? Oh, was it? I said, was it? She said, oh, yeah, you didn't hear all that? I said, baby, I didn't hear nothing. I said, I was so tired. It I was said, a rip snorter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She said, oh, no, it was one of them. Was, all you heard was lightning hitting, and it was just a rolling thunder that just never seemed to stop. Yeah. And the thunder rolled. I think we got like three and a half inches off that thing. Oh, you slept crazy. right through it. Oh no, I didn't hear none of it. That's what got me. <laughs> I did. I, you talking about? I literally died. So when I got in bed. How tired were you? Because you had been oh, going all week. No, no, no. I was out. I was worried about you. Yeah, because that's when I laid down. You know, no, I was gone. Yeah, you because know, when she said it's a big bad storm, you know, and I said what? I said I didn't hear none of that. That's said, what happens you when you lay me. on that helix, huh? Oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah. And that when when he says morning tea, that was also at one o'clock in the afternoon when he No, no, off. I actually got up <laughs> at eight thirty that day. <laughs> Not to be confused with afternoon yeah. tea. Yeah. This morning. That was that yeah, That's I actually right. got up. Does she drink like hot tea like a British person? Uh yeah, she she got into that for some reason. She's very refined. What. She also informed yeah. that she was gonna buy her stroller. Sorry, sir. Well no no I, yo, no she was looking, she has trouble, you know, getting up out of the uh, recliner she's got it's, it it goes down too deep so she brought, she was looking at it and she brought it in at me and said well look at the video and I said I ain't got time to look at that stupid thing I said if you want it and that's what you want <laughs> order it and tell them bring it up here just get it and she said oh no no they, they can't go pick it up I said well tell them to bring it the she stroller? said no 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 you I don't, don't understand they called me the other day to get my measurements Oh. They're going to build this. It's <laughs> tailor fitted. Oh. What is it? We're talking about two oh, different things. A recliner. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. It's one of them that when you get ready to stand it up, you just hit you. a button and it, it puts you up. A lift chair. Yeah, it, st- yeah. it stands you up. I said, well, darling, if that's what you need, order it. You know? I done bought me a you know, pickup and paid cash for it. You, Thank you. you know, at least I can just buy you a chair. <laughs> I, I love the humble chair. bragging today. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, just uh, straight cash, uh, homie. Uh, and he's going to play a poker tournament tonight. Oh, oh. Go win it back. Go pay tonight. him back for that truck. No, I got to win a little more money back, boy. <laughs> got to have gas money, boy. <laughs> Crap. All right, well, let's take our last break. We'll be back right after this. Right after this.
Maybe kick it as hard as you can. Oh, if I do that, me a sign, bro. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> what do you think was going to happen? I didn't think he was going to kick it. Hey, put the one that's already got a hole. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, it busted that sucker. He clean. was on. He we was need on. to clean up on aisle three. Hey, he was, All right, here you he go, Mark. He was on, boy. This is like bumper lanes at the bowling alley. Oh, now you're oh. just cheating. <laughs> you get half credit for that. Okay. Now, that would be the trick. It comes through that and make it stand up. Uh, I thought I had close, it. Close, boy. That's it. Well, uh, right. Now, here, Welcome throw, back. Hey, throw it to me real quick. He's going to put it up. I'm going to try something. No. No chance. Oh, you ain't oh. <laughs> what if that would have went in? That's that would have been even more impressive. Could have went in my coffee. Yeah. And we're back. Yeah, that's a cute mug you got there, Karen. That ain't a mug, Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Live, love, laugh. <laughs> Did you steal that from your wife's cupboard, or is that yours? I stole it from your wife's cupboard. Oh, Ooh. boy. Ooh. Ooh. That mug is huge. That's like a yo mama joke. Uh, that's right. That? Anyway, speaking of wives. Here we go. We got to save the date for Micah and Nicole in the mail. October 22nd, Tennessee. Martin, are we going to their wedding? Let's Probably go. not. October 22nd. Why not? I want to go to somebody's wedding one day, and all six of us just roll in there. I would love to go. Yeah. And sigh if I'm sure. It. I'm sure Stone will be up for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He loves humans yeah, man, anyway. Oh, man, Stone will be up for that. Yeah. Sigh, <laughs> so go and have a blast. Stone. Well, thank you for the save the day. Uh, Martin's hey, due happy, at any moment, though. Day. Yeah. Coming up. October 22nd. We'll, uh, October 22nd. Micah and Nicole, y'all have a good one. We'll be That's thinking right. about it. Congratulations. I'll put on some wedding music at my house yeah. and dance to it. It's about to be the hardest time of your life. What? Well, happiest. But excuse me, it wasn't bad, better. Figure it out, just marriage. Good tea. <laughs> right. Marriage is a great thing. Oh, it's fantastic. It is. But it's work. All right. Y'all want to get in some emails? That's I got a few. Hey, I got a few. Let's go to let's that mailbox. Um, let's go to it. What do y'all want? The one from... All we'll do them. both of them. Faith from California. She's six, 16 and needs some advice. Were you just singing? Beach Boys. I don't think that was the Beach Boys. Four nine. All right, so she goes to a Christian school, and her teachers always tell the students to wait till they get married until they are older, wiser, and more mature. Otherwise, that marriage will go south quickly. I get that, but they are talking 25 and up, and they – Got all their info from questionnaires and stuff. I don't know what that means. Not a good sign. Uh, yeah, a lot of people in my family got married young and have great marriages. Many people who I know that got married later in life had kids later in their life and wish they'd gotten married and had kids earlier. So which? what do I do? Is it better to wait and grow up or just get hitched when you feel God's called you to the other person? Just get married young. When do you get married is, I guess, Faith's question here. <laughs> different strokes for different folks. Mm -hmm. There ain't no rule book on that one. So I, I knew when I was well, ready. Well, uh, the teachers had told her what, don't get married? Until she's at least uh, 25. So are this is this young lady at 16 trying thinking about getting married? I don't think so. <laughs> I think she's just looking at it like, I know people that got married well, no, no, because that, that was my deal. Okay. I think she's just trying to plan. I think she's a planner, and she's wanting to plan out her life. Well, sounds like to me she just wanting to buck the system. I'm I into that, too. Question, she may be a rule follower, though. But uh, she's going, question. okay, in these days and times, okay. These days and times. How old okay. were you, Si? 14. What, no, what was a... Oh, yeah, that'd be 20-something. 20 21, I think. Do yeah, math. I think I was actually 21. Maybe 23. I was 22. I don't remember. I don't remember to tell you the truth. 90 days, you well, what? 20, let's see. 21. 1971. So what would that make me? 52. <laughs> 71. What is now? 20, what year 22. were you? 22. That's 51. So you were 22. 22. Okay. Deuce, see? Deuce. Hey, 22. 52 years I knew it was ago. around 20-something. Yeah. But anyway, but, hey, you know, back in the day, okay, People got married. You know, I had a, a, a memo got married when she was 14. And she had a great marriage. Yeah. So for Don't someone to that. say, <laughs> okay, you couldn't have a good marriage just because you're young, that's not true. Right. No. Okay. Because here's the whole thing about marriage. 
Okay, it's like a garden. Dig it. You got to work it. How? Or or the weeds are going to take over, and no, it won't work. That's exactly right, Si. We got some weeds over here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Weed it <Yeah>. up. <laughs> and this day and age. I'm the Joe Dirt fan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, life's a garden, brother. You got to dig anyway, it. Look, I wouldn't. You know, if you're just 16, darling, live a little bit before you get married. Okay? Yeah, I, I just, the worst thing I think you can do on any of that is put a rush on it. Rule or, but just yeah. like a, you, yeah. you can't get married to 25. No, there's plenty of people get married at 18 mm -hmm. to 22 that are just fine. There's yeah. people like me that don't get married to their 29. They're just fine. i tell you something right now. If I'd have got married any time before when I did, I'd have probably already been divorced because I wasn't ready for it. Yeah. Like, I, I had too much selfishness in me that I hadn't gotten out. And I still got selfishness. Allison got all that out, right out of me very fast. <laughs> oh, we know. <laughs> but I'm no, just no, saying, no. like, there's no, there is no playbook for right or wrong or mm -hmm. indifferent. You know, I mean. Well, 18, there's that playbook for legality reasons. Yes. Now, there is that. There <laughs> but, is well, a I'm just very legal Sino. consequence to. to I'm just that. saying, okay, it's marriage Arkansas. becomes, you know, there's a lot of responsibility and commitment involved in it. Okay, so what I'm saying is, live a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay, before you, you know, because once that happens, okay, then you got to be responsible. You got to be committed to it, or mm -hmm. or it will not work. I had to be old enough to make uh -huh. a commitment to her and to God yeah. when I when because that's oh. that's the union that you're making. You know, mm -hmm. you might get sick of her, but you still made a promise to God. Yeah. So you're trying to work things out. Uh, when you feel like you can do that. I mean, go for it. Yeah. There, there's no certain age. You'll know. That's right. Yeah. You won't have to question. I always think you do know. You know. I you think know you know when you're ready. Yeah. And, and also, one of the cool parts for me, I, I, my wife was 20. We started dating when she was in high school. I wasn't. But then she broke up with me. Then she came crawling back, and she's not here. Oh, to yeah, right. Defy that. <laughs> crawling um, back. Nobody. Please. She just was like, please take me back. And I was like, maybe. Got, got back she's on like, that Johnny's Pizza bag. The um, <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> anyway, but it was cool getting married that young because we, I mean, we were in college, which it was tough too because I, I went to work at 6 a.m., then went to class. She went to class and then went and worked at Red Lobster. So we, I mean, our first year of marriage, it was a lot of Cheddar Bay biscuits. Huh? Yeah. Oh, a bunch, man, I don't even <laughs> like them things. But, but it was tough and we, we did grow up together, but there's some sacrifices that were made there because. Getting married's expensive too, and when, and if you're still in college, still like is. like uh, me and my wife, we went to Abilene, Texas. I was at Abilene Christian, and I'm gonna tell you, I mean, we worked a lot of odd jobs to help pay for school, and I'm glad she was with me to do all those things. You know, I, I'm glad I didn't wait until I got ready, you know, out of school or whatnot, because it was we spent a lot of great time together. Yep. So different strokes for different folks. Anybody who's telling you they have the secret age is wrong. I would. That. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's it's by it's by the person, whoever it is. They got to decide. All right, last one. Caitlin, twenty from Tennessee. Boom. She's got. She's always went to church since she was a kid, but she struggles with some temptations. Her boyfriend doesn't go to church, and he don't believe what I believe, but he wants to respect me and my religion. Does he? That's a good question. So. She's trying not to sin. Doesn't say what sin. She find it harder and harder not to give in. Any advice for Caitlin from Tennessee? That's a tough one. <laughs> That's a tough I, I, one. I, I, no, go, Martin. You got no, that one on your mind. Uh -uh. No, I'm just thinking about Phil Robertson. I'm sorry. <laughs> what about Phil Robertson? What? Well, not saying it. <laughs> not not saying what Phil would say in this scenario. Cult? You saying call well, somebody? Nah, well, kinda, but just no, nothing, nothing. Well, it's look, it's about the sin that I'm assuming she's. She don't say close. what sin. If she's finding it harder to resist, and she don't believe, I tell you what she's thinking about. Probably there's a there's. I, we don't got to say. I it don't out think loud. it's right. drinking a beer right. in her mind. I don't think that's sin, anyways. But that's a different. Story. If she, if she can't but. get him converted, you know, uh, and he's if he can't help her, and it's difficult, she's gonna have to have a long talk with him. Yeah, because if she's not, if a, if you're not helping him get to heaven, and b, he's not helping you get to heaven, then what in the world are you doing in this relationship? Well, that's right. So, 
you know. That's a tough one. That It is a tough one. And it's but tough. Jesus didn't turn his back on the one either. He went after the one. Right. So, you know, there's a there's a fine line there. But if, if he's leading you down a road to temptation, then you need to just remove yourself from said temptation. Yeah. That may mean you need to circle back to him in a couple of years. Yeah. Si, what do you got? Whatever. Well, no, 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 like, like y'all was talking about, okay? You, you either can stick it out, okay, and and do the best to bring him to Jesus, or, like, you know, Philip and Martin both said, don't let him drag you down the wrong road. Okay, that's the bottom line. If it gets to the point that, okay, you can't, you know, He's putting you in places you don't want to be, then you, you need to leave. Set some boundaries. Yeah. Set them boundaries. All right. Speaking of, I got a Bible verse for you. Well, hit Caitlin. it, Wilson. Uh-oh, here we go. Which one do you think it is, Phil? I got no idea. Proverbs 4.23, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Right. Amen. Whoa, whoa. That's we'll see it. See you all next Whoop. time. All right, boy. All right. All right.